Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will see another numerical based on block diagram and signal flow graph of the discrete time system. So, the difference equation is given as y of n is equal to 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 plus 0 0.6 into x of n plus 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. So, we have to draw the block diagram representation as well as the signal flow graph representation for this. Fine. So, basically, if you see there are three parts. One is this, okay, second part and third part, okay. Later on, we have to add these parts, right. So, let's deal part by part. So, here we are going to draw the block diagram representation and here signal flow graph representation. So first I will take 0 0.6 into x of n, right? So if you see x of n is the input signal and it is multiplied by 0 0.6. So a constant multiplier is required, right? This is a constant multiplier, fine having a constant 0 0.6. So you will get 0 0.6 into x of n achieved, right? And the equivalent signal flow graph representation for 0 0.6 into x of n is, x of n is the input at this node, uh, mark an arrow like this, okay? And at the top of that, write 0 0.6, the constant, okay? So now the x of n will be multiplied by this constant 0 0.6 and you will get 0 0.6 into x of n. Hope this part is clear to you. Fine. Let's move further for the second part, which is basically 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. Fine. So 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. So if x of n is the input signal, so the delayed version is what? x of n minus 1. So x of n minus 1 is what? A delayed version. So, if I pass this x of n through what unit delay element, then I will get x of n minus 1, right? And then what I can do? I can multiply this by the help of constant multiplier with 0 0.9, then I can achieve this. Am I right? Okay, so first input to this is x of n and this input is going to what? It is going to a unit delay element. Z to the power minus 1 is what? Unit delay operator. Now the output from this element will be what? X of n minus 1 delayed by one sampling unit time. Fine. Now this is behaving as an input for this constant multiplier. Okay. 0 0.9. Right. Now the output will become what? 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. Simple. Correct. Now let's draw the equivalent signal flow graph representation. So as we see here x of n is the input. Okay. So just to represent this unit delay element here mark an arrow and write here j to the power minus 1. So at this node at this particular node what you will get at this node you will get simply x of n minus 1 now going to this direction okay if you see this arrow and 0 0.9 it means you have to multiply this 0 0.9 with this so now at this node you will get 0 0.9 x of n minus 1 achieved clear fine now the third part, what is the third part? The third part is 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1. Now tell me what is the output y of n, right? And what is this y of n minus 1? So if you see this y of n minus 1, don't you think it is a delayed version of this y of n only, right? So now you have to do an operation on this y of n which is basically output of the system. Okay, fine. Now let's go to the third part, which is basically 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1. So to achieve y of n minus 1, you have to pass y of n 
through a unit delay element so if you see here basically so here suppose i have y of n i am passing it to a unit delay element and i will get an output y of n minus 1 what is required 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 it means a constant multiplier is required now having a constant 0 0.3 Fine. Now it will multiply and it will give you an output 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1. Okay. Now same equivalent signal flow graph representation. So from here y of n is the input to this node and if you see here arrow z to the power minus 1 it means you have to delay this by one unit. So it will become this. Fine. And now from this node to this node, what is the multiplication factor here? 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 into 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 achieved. Okay. All three achieved. Now we have to sum up this three. So better you take this part by part. So it will be easy for you to understand at the end. Okay. Otherwise you will be in confusion. Fine. Let's see the final picture now. Okay. Before that, let's assume two things. So x of n is what input to the system and y of n is what output to the system or output of the system. Sorry. Okay. So these two things should be clear to you. Fine. Let's move further. What is our equation? Difference equation. Y of n is equal to 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 plus 0 0.6 into x of n plus 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. So let's work on this part first. So x of n will be the input. So here I placed x of n. Clear? So x of n you have to multiply with 0 0.6. So signal is going through this way and 0 0.6 this is what a constant multiplier. So at this point what you will get 0 0.6 into x of n achieved right? And you have to sum up this with 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. That is why I took this adder, our first adder. Now what is pending? To achieve 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1. So first we achieved x of n minus 1. So x of n is here input. So you have to pass this x of n through a unit delay element. So this is unit delay element pass it here so at this point you will get x of n minus 1 and you have to multiply this with 0 0.9 so a constant multiplier is required so here you will get 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1 am i right and when you sum up this using this header you will achieve this this part this particular portion here so if you see here you will get basically 0 0.6 x of n plus 0 0.9 x of n minus 1 and this portion you have to add with this right so that is why another adder is required here so this input already came this is acting as an input for this adder so it already came now you have to work on the second part it is 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 as i told you at this node what will be the value y of n because output is what y of n so to delay this y of n by one one sampling unit time you have to pass this y of n through unit delay element am i correct so this is unit delay element you passed here so you will get an output y of n minus 1 now it should be multiplied with 0 0.3 so a constant multiplier is required so this is a constant multiplier having a constant value 0 0.3 so you will get here what 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 and at this point again what you will receive sum of this two so finally we achieved this so this is how the block diagram looks like block diagram representation for this y of n hope it is clear to you so similarly you have to draw the equivalent signal flow graph representation okay nothing easy 
draw the block diagram first and then if you go for this it will be easy for you otherwise it will be tough for you fine so i'm doing a comparison and i am drawing this input is what x of n output is what y of n we already know right x of n into 1 so here you will get x of n so the first portion was what 0 0.6 into x of n so here mark an arrow 0 0.6 so at this node, two signals are coming. One is this, one is this. So from here, what is coming? 0 0.6 into x of n, right? So here at this node, you will get 0 0.6 into x of n plus another signal is what? So x of n is going through this way. And this is what? If you see arrow, j to the power minus 1 means a unit delay operator. So it will delay this by one unit okay so at this node you will get basically x of n minus 1 and now multiplied with 0 0.9 so here this will sum up so 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1 achieved correct okay and what was the another part another part was 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 correct okay so here if you see at this point value is what y of n so it is going through this path and here what is this this is a unit delay operator so basically at this node you will get y of n minus 1 and it is multiplied with 0 0.3 here so you will achieve here what a sum of this this whole thing plus 0 0.3 into y of so what you will get here basically 0 0.6 x of n plus 0 0.9 into x of n minus 1 okay plus this portion 0 0.3 into y of n minus 1 so hope it is clear to you so wherever you see j to the power minus 1 it is what a unit delay operator so basically uh, when the input is y of n so the output will be what y of n minus 1 so this is what the basic uh, signal flow graph representation for y of n hope it is clear to you so to understand this thing separately we have one lecture in which i have explained the block diagram representation and the signal flow graph representation for adder unit delay element or unit advance element and constant multiplier you should watch that video then come to this video to understand this better fine so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt please ask in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel